the history. When did big data start and how this whole thing happened? People have a misconception that big data started two years back or a few years back. That's completely wrong. Big data started way too long. And if you look at this timeline, it's almost started back in 2003, 2002, or even before, honestly. It happened much before than that. Then why do we think this way? Why do we have this misconception? There is a reason for that. I'll come back to that in a little bit. But let's talk about how it started. It started with Google. Company in early 2000 had an ambitious plan to really crawl the whole world web and create a search engine for us. That's a huge amount of data. That's what big data we are talking about. And that they did that problem so they solved, and we have Google search, which is great. Uh, but they were gracious enough to share that information with the world. How did they do that? And they shared it by creating a white paper, which was published in early 2003, uh, which is called a GFS and MapReduce white paper. It's still available. It's an interesting read. It's not that huge. It's a decent size. GFS stands for Google File System. It's the file system where they're putting the data. Everything they put in is a file instead of a database of systems for this part of it. MapReduce was their engine to process the data. You store the data and you process through MapReduce. That's how you search it, do the recommendations, do the rankings, all that, the magic they are doing through that. This shared with the world, the rest of the world, wow, that's the way to really use our big data, which we are just throwing it. We were archiving it. We were not using it. So how do we use it? And the rest of the world, and mainly this person called Duck Cutting, who was really fascinated and ran with this technology, he is now considered to be the father of big data or Hadoop. Uh, he is the one who gave the name big data he, or Hadoop. They, he, they, he gave the name Hadoop. Does anybody know the story, why, how he got that name, or why we have this elephant? Right. So he was having a toy, uh, which was a yellow stuffed elephant. And it's a daughter, uh, and she was very fascinated about that, and she used to call it Hadoop. And when he was looking for a project, he said, uh-oh, why not take that name? Uh, he took the name Hadoop, and that's why it is yellow elephant, because it used to be a yellow elephant stuffed animal. Some people say it's big because big data. Why not dinosaur then? Right? That's even bigger. Uh, so it's nothing to do with big. It is about this simple story, which uh, the parent used uh, the kid's toy. Uh, there is another part of this funny thing about, if you think about the different names on the screen, you have different company names, Google, Hadoop, Yahoo, Facebook. Do you see something pattern there in, in the names, in the spelling? Do you see any pattern? All I need, but that's what I was looking for. Uh, that's correct as well. Double O. Uh, do you see surprisingly everybody has double O? Yahoo has double O. Google has double O, Hadoop has, Facebook has. Why? There's a myth in the Silicon Valley that if you name your company and it has double O, it will become successful. It's a myth, right? Because there are many companies who have done that and failed miserably. Uh, it's just a myth. Sorry? Now we all know that. Now we all know that. But, 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 but there is, some, but there is something, something to, maybe there is something in it, right? Because there are so many good, successful companies, Google, Facebook. Yahoo had its golden days, not anymore, but it had its golden days. Uh, Hadoop, for that matter, became so fascinately uh, de in demand. Uh, so maybe that is, it's worth trying, maybe. It's not bad. Uh, so that's just a side note about that. What happened after Google and Duck Cutting named Hadoop and it became very popular, many companies followed that. Um, they were, came into helping in this. This all became open source, freely available to download, change as you want, and even sell. That's an interesting uh, paradigm, if you would think. Like, you get something for free and you can sell it out to somebody else. Uh, so many companies joined that. Facebook started helping, LinkedIn, Yahoo, all these web 2.0 companies started helping in this revolution. So that was all great. But to the question, why do we think that this started four years back, five years, people, I have people and they say it started two years back, four years back. No, we are celebrating the 10th anniversary this year of Hadoop. Hadoop was named in 2006, just a name, but the actual work had happened before, right? All that work had happened. It was just a naming ceremony. Uh, the baby was born, just a naming ceremony which was left. So it was happened in 2006, which is itself 10 years back. So this has been a while. But why do we think? There is a reason. Here is the reason. What happened is, till 2008, this was all play of these web 2.0 companies, big giants, like Google's and Facebook's and Yahoo's were using that. 
rest of the smaller companies and their corporations, even the bigger corporations had no to open source or big Hadoop kind of technology. Why? Because they were not, they've never lived in the world of open source. They lived mostly in Microsoft tools or SAP tools and Oracle tools, which are proprietary tools, which are sold to them, mm. but also supported. That's the biggest gap. They need support. For example, if Visa takes a software from open source and just builds it and they don't have anybody to solve any problem in that, they can't be waiting for the developer to come in, right? People are swapping their credit cards left and right. You can't wait for that thing to happen. So they need support. If some critical things happen, they need that support. So how did that change? So there was a company which Duck Cutting is part of called as Cloudera. So this company was formed. It saw this opportunity like, okay, Hadoop is a great technology. Everybody likes it. But the reason why they're not using it, because it's not supported. So why not sell it? It's a great business opportunity. And they started selling support. Once they started selling support, um, many, many companies started joining this Hadoop revolution. And because many companies are using, many people are joining that as a technology, skills, jobs, everything is percolating accordingly. And that's why we are hearing about it. So that's kind of a reason. There is, there is a reason for that to happen. And that's the reason. Once Cloudera did that, uh, Duck Cutting is the chief architect at Cloudera right now. So once Cloudera did that, that started following that. There are many companies like Hortonworks, MapR, and these things. We'll talk about them in a little bit. So we'll, I'll explain the differences, what they are. So, but that's the journey and why, how big data started, how Hadoop started, and why we think it is very new. It is not. So that's a quick background on that. Uh, this timeline is only till 2009, but only uh, the, the demand and the traction and the craziness around Hadoop and big data has only increased exponentially. I go to the Strata conference and other places and everywhere I see like the passion and the buzz around this area is huge. This is one of the biggest happening place in the whole IT space uh, right now.